Welcome back to Marbella Now. My name is Nicole King, and it's a pleasure to welcome Carlos de Simon, Charles of Simon, to the show. This introduction comes thank you to the lovely Tanya Money from Lexlight because I'm having problems bringing things in from England. Everything has changed. And problems that weren't even discussed regarding Brexit, but we, those of us who import from the UK, feared are worse than we anticipated. <laughs> However, I brought Carlos to the show today. Hola, Carlos. Encantado. Nice to meet Hola, you. Hola. Thank you. Uh, nice to meet you as well. And it's nice to be able to have someone who's involved in this. You've got Global um, Trading mm, and Forwarding so company. company. That's the name of yeah. And I was mentioned you from I worked in Ocean Air Freight for a few yeah. years in Heathrow. Yeah, right. And I was coordinating the Ocean and Air Freight yeah. and bringing in furniture from Spain to England. Really good. But all that's going to change now dramatically, whereas we just all... Yeah. moving goods around yeah. so thank you for coming to chat a few about the issue okay. before we start what does your company do what are the, what is the actual exactly. mission of your well, company uh, it's, it's a forwarder company in the beginning we we had trade as well but mainly we do forwarder forwarder means that we do transport uh, all of them uh, air, air transport uh, sea transport and uh, land transport as well uh, involved uh, with uh, with the transport, always uh, you will find that there are also documentation. In the old times with, with England or UK, it was easy because it was more or less the same to do a transport between Marbella and Barcelona. But that's finished. Uh, with the Brexit, Brexit the post-Brexit situation now means that UK uh, is more or less like Switzerland or, or, or even, even Morocco. It's, it, I mean, from the documentation point of view, we are going to do exactly the same steps, which means for imports from Spain uh, to UK, we have to do uh, export customs clearance, which let's say is not very, uh, very difficult, it's more easy because uh, the actual agreement, uh, it, it's, uh, there is no duties, but there are VAT. There are two types of, of taxes. For, for one side you have duties, and for the other side you have VAT. If you bring, for instance, goods from India, or, or, for, for, or for something, some goods from China, they will have not only VAT, which is 21% in Spain, but also duties. In the case of UK, the agreement, EU-UK uh, agreement, has been that no duties, they are going to be involved, at least in this first step, and there will be only that. Okay. What happens if we send some goods, whatever it is, doesn't matter if it's removal or it's commercial uh, goods, or you are talking about furniture, about industrial uh, uh, metal goods, whatever. If we send uh, uh, export from, from Spain to UK, well, for, for one, one side is transport, and again, and the other side is the documentation. Let's talk uh, uh, straight away to the documentation. Uh, for export, uh, to, to do the export customs, we will need a list, we will need a commercial invoice and a packing list, okay? Uh, we can do that. In the case of, of UK, for instance, we are mainly doing by land. So that means that our trucks, which are crossing France, doing from uh, uh, either Caen, either, either, how is it called the other one, Calais, Caen and Calais, uh, Calais Dover, uh, Caen, Portsmouth, and they cross the channel through the, the, across the channel from, from France to, to UK. But the export customs is done in Irun. Irun is a place which is the border between uh, Spain and France in the Basque country. Okay. So 
in that case, even we are able to make the export customs clearance even before the truck arrived to Irun. Irun. That means that the truck is not going to stop in Irun and the driver can drive straight away to, to France with the documentation that we are going to give him. We do, uh, uh, everything is, is what we, in Spanish, telematic. I, I think, I mean, it is not necessary to go with, with the physical ori paper. Original, right. original documentation, mm. okay? That's the export case, okay. What happens in the, in the other way around? In the other way around is more difficult because, again, let's talk, let's talk about uh, the land transport. Okay, what we do is, is done with a, 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 doc a document what is called T1. A T1 is a transit, a transit which comes from uh, UK directly to that Irun place where we have the custom to, uh, the, the agents to, to do the customs clearance, okay? But the T1 needs to have also an agent in UK. We usually provide all that, uh, all that, uh, uh, um, this agent and all the procedure and all the, the way and the information how to do this So you kind have of your things. contacts and correspondence right. and, and everything. And correspondence and everything. Oh, that's right. So, but that T1 is, is a, a guarantee that means that if that document one are, once arrived to Irun is matched for us, there will not be any problem at all. Whether, whether, whether if that T1, which is an original, is not matched, will mean that the agent in UK is going to receive a fine from the UK Treasury because that uh, T1 does not been matched in Irun. So it's a risky, it's very risky. If we do the, the things in proper, properly, there, there is not going to be any problem at all. So in that case, we need that the truck with that T1 original, with the physical document, has to arrive to Irun parking and to stop there and to match. It has to be stamped and signed. That Why is it that so origin. different? That's, that, that's a good point. That's a good point. We don't know why, but it's done like this. The, the big difference is because the UK, which are more clever, they have said, well, look, as the volume of imports and exports from, from the U EU is huge, we cannot stop the lorries, the, the planes, the, the, the shipments, because this is going to be a mess. So what they do in England when they receive the goods, which by the way, they receive much more goods from EU to UK than in the other way around, they have said, well, look, we just ch check that is the, the, the correct, uh, for instance, plane number of the truck and go, go, go away. And you will pay the taxes because, of course, in UK, you are going to pay also the taxes. <coughs> The VAT, the VAT, the, the English VAT, when you import a, a good, you will pay one month. You have one month to do it. And you will be, you will be fined as well if you do not pay in one month. Okay? But, but this is why it, we must make very, very clear that it's completely different the export and the import. But is it, who's it's being a, difficult? A, is it the English or the Spanish? I mean, is it... Uh, there seems to be resentment. Could be. You say you from the Spanish, yeah. French, yeah. and I'm not saying I don't yeah. agree. I yeah. think we is very um, arrogant of the English yeah. to think we can pull out of a system yeah. and then expect to be treated exactly yeah. the same. Yes, because because you, you you could say that, but the thing is, what happens if we bring one thing from Switzerland? We are going to set to to follow exactly the same process. So that's the point. The point is that now UK is like a Switzerland, and you have to pass exactly the same process. You're, you're not going to be, you know, uh, have any, any kind of advantage. Were you and expecting that, the way. things to be as they are, to be as different? Because, sorry, uh, Nicole, there is another point to take in consideration. Some, some people could say, well, look, what 
we cannot do the transport UK to Spain through Santander and Bilbao port, for instance. That there are, there are also these two ways to do it. The point is that the Santander port and, and Bilbao port, they have decided, because they, they, again, they had in the old times 100 volume, and now they have, they have 160. So they have a 60% more uh, uh, job to do. So they say, well, look, as we have not a structure enough to process, process all that kind of documentation, priority is for the Any old- Any other country the old, that's not the, England. No, the old cargo. <laughs> the cargo that in the old times was coming uh, through containers and, and from, from USA, from, from Far East, from whatever the point. If you come in a railroad vessel with your truck, for instance, a removal, and you pretend to be the first, you are not going to be the first. You are going to be the last. And, that, and that's the point. So this is why we recommend everybody to go through, through France, which is more flexible, more fast, and more easy. <laughs> Interesting, no? Yeah. Do you think this is going to settle down in the near future? I don't think so. You I don't, don't think, think they're so. going to... No, it's... it's, it's uh, uh, I'm going to put you another example. Now, the world logistic is completely collapsed, okay? Uh, if we are talking about year, uh, January uh, 2020, okay, we had 100 vessels. It's just an example. Well, nowadays, instead of 100 vessels, because of the pandemic, they have decided, well, look, there was not uh, enough uh, uh, business between, for instance, Far East and Europe, etc., uh, uh, etc. Et so what we are going to do is to stop 40%, 50% of the vessels, and we are going to work only with the other 50. Well, of course, uh, March, April, June, July last year, uh, uh, with that uh, number of vessels, it was enough because there was not cargo e enough to fool that kind of, that, that vessel, okay, those vessels. Okay, then, now, in the last six months, uh, uh, and mainly more, more intensive, let's say, from November to January 2021, the factories started to produce again, the sellers and, and buyers, they started to, to do business again, and now is the, 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 the day that there are a lot of uh, cargo for containers, but there are not vessels. And it's so expensive. Even, Everything's sort of gone up so much. Even, even there are no containers. But why don't they just put them back into, into working That's again? another good question. Why? It's easy. They have say, look, we, have all, we are working only with 40% of our vessels, but they are paying four times the sea freight that they were paying in the beginning. Yeah, everything's so expensive now. They are making more money. Why to put more vessels? And that's the answer. The answer is that the shipping lines they have decided not to put more vessels, even if they are stopped, because they are making more money. <laughs> so, yesterday I was uh, 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 talking with an Indonesian customer, and he, she said to me, Carlos. I want to, to ship uh, three, three or four containers for a customer that we have here in Spain. But you know how the, the sea freight rates are now. And I said, yeah, I know. I said, look, in the old times, I was paying $2,000 per, per container. And now I have to pay 8000 I cannot pay $8,000 with a container with furniture. Don't go away. We have to go to a break, but don't go away because we're going to carry on chatting with Carlos de Simon of Global Trading and Forwarding Company because there's a lot going on about going to and from England, whether it's even just your furniture. A few messages from our sponsor and Zero here. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> John's car is still being repaired, so he's delighted that Judy has come to pick him up. However... After a very heavy business trip, he's less than enthusiastic when her car breaks down. I insure with Linear Director. She tells John. So please do relax. I've got this. 
and she had. The taxi was there in no time. Her car safely towed for repairs and a courtesy car readily available. Call Linear Director on 952 14 78 34 to see how they can better your life too. Judy likes to consider herself a clever young woman, which is why she thought very carefully before choosing her insurance company. Now that she needs it, she's jolly glad she chose Linear Director, as it looks as if she might have something better to do. Why don't you be clever like Judy? Call Linear Director on 952-1478-34 and see which policy is best for you. Hi guys, Ross here from Hoganstan. Proud to be a member of the Zero Hero campaign. And uh, we recommend everybody. Nobody drives drinking. Everybody who drives a car doesn't have any alcohol in their system. And we're proud to sponsor the Zero Hero program. GYN is happy to be zero zero partner. How cool is that? <laughs> GYN. Thank you. That's okay. I'm proud to present Zero to Hero. Never drink and drive. Yes, I mean, do you think that Mike Moses is proud to be a zero hero partner? Out of bounds, zero hero partners. Here we are, sticker going on, delighted to welcome everybody and to be part of the Zero Hero campaign. Delighted. Zero Hero, welcome here. Zero Hero, Welcome to Lemongrass, Doña Lola. Thank you very much. Zero Hero, welcome to Portofino, Cabo Pino. Welcome back to the show. My name is Nicole King and this is Mar Bear now. If you've just tuned in, we're chatting with Carlos de Simon, Charles of Simon. He's from Global Trading and Forwarding Company, and we're having some very interesting information on what it entails to bring things into England from Spain, vice versa, even your removals. Life is not as simple as it used to be. Carlos, this is fascinating. Yeah. We we're just getting into the cost yeah. of transport. It has gone up so much, air freight, sea freight. Yeah. I'm looking to bring in my Zero Hero breathalyzers yeah. from South Africa and what it was last year. Can't get a container, yeah. can't afford to bring it in air freight. Yeah. It's going to take so long. So, I mean, yeah. this is really um, well, changing everything. That's right. What we do, I mean, South Africa, the actual situation with South Africa is exactly the same uh, uh, last year than now. Okay. But the thing is that you are going to have always, you, have, you are going to have some charges that are fixed, rates that are, they are fixed. For instance, I mean, uh, you can bring a container from, from UK to Spain, to Marbella, to Algeciras. We can do, uh, uh, with whatever the kind of, of good you have in, in UK, you can bring a container to Algeciras and from Algeciras, to, uh, from Algeciras here to Marbella. The container is just an example as well. The container, I am going to, to send you the container there in UK, right? And you can fit it inside the container one sofa, but you can full the, 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 of sofas that container. But the rate is going to be the same. So depends of you more than me, OK? With the customs clearance, either import, either export, you have you are going to have fixed uh, 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 charges 
from the management customs point of view, okay, and you have you you you're going to have of course you are going to have the the VAT, the VAT is on top of the value, okay, but the other charges are fixed, so as much as more value you bring, of course is going to be better for you. It's an advantage, okay. So let's let's say that if you are talking about very small business with very low value is going to be very difficult because uh, the difference between l last time and now is that you are going to pay to pay at least fixed uh, charges for instance for, I mean, for I've customs. seen bringing lenses from the UK That's right. Now, That's led right. optical lenses That's or anything medical needs a pharmacy right. inspection. Exactly. It looks like many businesses might go out of business. You were saying that unless you yeah. do four, five, That's six, right. seven thousand euros, yeah. the additional charges now of customs clearance is going to put people out of business. That's right. That's right. It doesn't deserve to bring it. Uh, uh, one thing that that we we should say again is. You are talking about less lenses. Le when you talk about lens lessons, uh, you are talking about, for instance, skin creams, all that kind of, of products that are involved with with the with the person and is touching your skin, etc., etc. They will require again. You are you are in the same situation that Switzerland, Morocco, etc., etc. So they will require certificate, special certificates. Uh, for instance, if you are talking about lenses, lessons, you ha you will need some certificate from from sanitary m uh, ministry here in Spain, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The same is happening with the food. When you bring food, let's say cheeses, uh, cakes, uh, beers, uh, whatever from UK, now they are receiving the same treat that if you are bringing things from, from Switzerland. So you have to pass also all the food process customs regulation. Yes, I've seen companies like overseas and that have typical English products. Everything's empty and now they've got some Irish product in, That's but right. nothing that they usually That's have. That's right. Why? Because again, the Irish, they are not going past through any customs border and the UK is going to pass through a, 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 a border, a customs border. So this is why it's going to take time. For instance, I have a, a, we have I have a friend who is trying to clear customs uh, in Bilbao with four uh, trucks. I think is is I don't know exactly the type of, of good, but it's food, right? And it has been wait, waiting to be clear already 15 days. And the lorries, the trucks are stopped there in the port. How can people, the companies can't support it, the drivers, it's not fair. That's right. We are that's, really getting our just desserts. Right. <laughs> obviously, obviously, once the time pass, uh, let's say that they will, everybody will put more resources to do it faster. But now, at least we will have at least six months one year that is going to be very, very hard, very, very hard indeed. Okay. So and 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 again with the with the with the removals, it, ha it happens the same. I mean, uh, it's not it's, it's not like the old old times that you come from 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 Marbella to Paris and nobody go is going to stop you. Now now you have to pass customs. So people who wanted to sell up and move home, are they going to be able to afford to take their furniture home? Are they going to have to pay duties yeah. and things there, on their there furniture? There is no problem to do it. In fact, we have, uh, 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 we can do it, we can do that uh, by truck and by sea, okay? But again, in both cases, you are going to pay taxes. If you export things, for instance, for inst you say, well, look, I, I, I have here all my bedroom and I want to send the, the, all the furniture that I have in my bedroom to, to UK, okay? Or, or, or even because I, I, I have uh, uh, bought that, that furniture here in Spain, okay? And I wanted to, to send it to, to, to UK. In that case, you can do two things. Either you buy and then you send, and of course you are going to pay the taxes once, once the goods arrive to, to UK, 
or either you can say to the shop, look, I don't want to be uh, uh, invoiced with the VAT because these goods, they are going to be shipped to, to UK, okay? So you avoid the VAT here and you pay your VAT, your VAT in England. The only thing in that case is that it's much better to do it for companies. It's easier. So, so at the same time, for instance, to imagine that, that you have a, a company in England, you, you have your own house here, but you have a company in England as well. And you say, well, I, I, bought, I bought my furniture in Marbella, and I'm going to send it to my company in, in, in UK. You are not only, I mean, you, you, will be, you will have to pay the VAT in UK, but at the same time, you are going to be reimbursed because you are a company. So that's an advantage. So it's undoubtedly, one has to speak to a professional company at this time. You have the contacts. It's very important. I don't think people appreciate yeah. how much when you were saying, like, they do all the other countries first that they always yeah. had to do paperwork yeah. for. Yeah. Yeah. And then when it comes to the Brits, yeah. when we finish with the rest, yeah. we'll yeah. take a look at it. But yeah. obviously having contacts yeah. over the years makes we, a big difference when yeah, you can we, get your, yeah, speak we do, to your we, friends. We do easier because we know the ways, you know. This what, what, what I'm telling to you that it, the, the, the uh, places where they are more blocked are the ports. So don't do the tracks through Bilbao port, through Santander port, because it's a mistake. But we know other ways to make it easier. <laughs> Where are you based? In Estepona. In Estepona. So you're a local company. Yeah, we're local. How long has it been established? We started in 2004. So you've been going quite a while. Yeah. Is it your own company or? Uh, well, I am a shareholder of the company, uh, and I have to say that I've been in this business um, almost 35 years. It's a and, it's a different I, business. It's interesting. Why transport yeah. and forwarding? Well, I am, very stressful. I, I, I'm a captain. Uh, I, I've been uh, sailing in vessels, in oh, big really? vessels, in mers. If you see the containers, yes. who are huge, you know huge containers. Huge. Well, is the in fact is the the uh, first uh, uh, shipping line uh, container shipping line company in the world. Right? Yeah, I mean it's. Uh, yeah. And I've been yeah. I've been sailing in in the Mediterranean with mers vessels. But those big ones, Copenhagen. you sail those yeah, really yeah, big. Yeah, yeah. Once well, we look out on the horizon and there's like a city going Well, by. look, I tell you the truth. When I started, the number of containers for the big vessels, it was around, let's say, 9,000, 8,000, between 8,000 and 9,000. And now we are talking about that kind of, like a city, which are 20, 24,000 containers in, in one go. How can the boat even and, afloat? And, 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 and I tell you one thing. Uh, uh, in Algeciras, all, all the, uh, uh, Algeciras is a hub port. The same as Hydro is a hub airport, uh -huh. right? Algeciras is a hub port. And usually, during, I mean, in the, in the good times, there were around not, not less than four or five vessels like that one in one week. Every week. Because that, that big vessel, what they do, obviously, is they discharge in Algeciras, and then from Algeciras to, to the African coast, West, West Africa, Mediterranean, they distribute all that kind of containers with, with a smaller vessel. Unbelievable. You just never yeah. know who you're sitting next yeah. to. Yeah. One thing sitting next to a captain of a yacht and another yeah. thing of a Merce container yeah. line yeah. thing. Yeah. We have to leave it for there at the moment. Thank Carlos, thank you so much. I can well, chat with you for hours. Yeah, Fascinating sure, sure. and uh, well, obviously something that in my other business, <laughs> uh, very relevant for me. I hope it was also relevant for you. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Mar Bear. Now, behind the scenes, up close and personal with things that matter to all of us. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. Remember to like, share and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And you can check out recordings of the show from the TV Mar Bear website or the link from my website, NicoleKing.es. Also with links to our Zero Hero partners and my Mar Bear Moments column in the Euro Weekly News. Hasta mañana.